Hey gang, we'll hear from the Ashland Fly Shop with a fishing report for you for mid-September. Here we are. Steelhead season is upon us. We're going to start off with uh, our backyard, the Rogue River. Lots of great reasons to be fishing the Rogue right now. So September 1st begins uh, fly only season on the Rogue, which, which is awesome. So that's uh, when we have special regulations um, for just fishing with flies um, on the Rogue River from Fisher's Ferry up to the hatchery. And that goes really in a lot of the river, uh, a lot of that section of the river anyway, until the first of the year. Uh, November 1st, uh, it opens back up for bait again from the hatchery to Shady Cove. But below Shady Cove to Fisher's Ferry stays, uh, flies only for the rest of the year, which is, which is awesome. So, um, so yeah, we're really looking for, uh, we love this time of year. We're out fishing now. Uh, this also coincides with uh, the way that they manage the flows in the river. So flows are very low uh, coming out of the dam right now. They drop them down. Typically they take a little longer to step them down uh, to the lowest point, but we have really had no rain or storm. Sometimes those play a little bit with how they uh, drop the flows out of the dam, but since we've had none, they've just been stepping them down for the last 10 or 15 days, and they're pretty bottomed out right now. They're at about a thousand or 1100 CFS coming out of the dam. We might not see them go much lower than that, and about 1200 at Dodge with the other tributaries coming in. And what this does is this trigger triggers the salmon into spawning. There are a lot of salmon in the upper rogue. The counts that we saw, the predictions that we saw were right on and we have a lot of salmon in the upper river that are just cutting reds and just getting ready to spawn now. So if you're out drifting, if you've been fishing with one of our guides, uh, even if you're walking in certain places, you're definitely going to see salmon spawning. You know, let them be. You can't target them in the upper river, so we really let those fish be and do their thing. Uh, careful not to walk around on their reds, that's important. Um, but um, we will get into the egg bite at some point here pretty quick where uh, the steelhead laying below the salmon um, will start keying in on their eggs and that can be pretty good fishing if you're nymph fishing and swinging too actually, fishing the right flies. So, so that's where we're at and what's happening and what to expect here in the upper section of the river. Um, that said, I, I would say the fishing leading up to this point has not been great. We have not really had a, a stretch of fishing that's just been fantastic. Yes, we've had great days. We've had some really exceptional days here and there. Our guides have had good catches. Um, we've been seeing pretty decent fishing, but really, typically by now we have a week a couple weeks from anywhere from mid-July up until now where we just see like, whoa, like really some excellent fishing where it's obvious a big, big bunch or pot of fish has come in and we've fished over them and got some and they've spread out. So just haven't really got that feedback yet, which is crazy because um, we are really seeing a lot of indicators, a lot of points uh, um, showing that we will have a strong above average run this year. So where are they? Uh, we don't know really. Um, um, but uh, the only counts that we have on the Rogue River is a sane count at Hug Huntley Park on the lower river. And those counts have been above average. Uh, and above average is, is saying something. Um, and so we do expect to see uh, quite a few fish uh, come up here. I've, had, I've heard very good fishing at the coast. I've heard good half pounder fishing. Last year was, uh, I think, a very, very strong high half pounder run, which reflects well on adults for this year. How, what's gonna happen? The first rains, where are they? So much steelhead speculation always, but we do really expect to see good numbers of fish in the upper river. Uh, at some point and we've seen it before we've seen it just really open up and and become pretty crazy so we'll see um, typically in years past September is a really great month and then we get a little bit of a of kind of a stale spell and then we go you know into November and when we get a little bit more rain and stuff we'll see that get mixed up and we'll see some of the fishing really come back strong and some of the later bigger fish show up. So, so interesting. We'll keep you posted. We're talking to people all the time. We're fishing ourselves. And, um, and, but that's, that's my take on it so far, as far as, you know, watching, watching these runs for, for years and years. Um, I'm still looking for really strong. It could happen. It could be happening right now. 
could be happening right now as I'm giving you a fishing report uh, that we get a whole bunch of fish showing up in the river. But but I will let you know. But a good time to be out there. Great time nymphing, swinging flies. Great time of year to be out there fishing. Beautiful. A lot of the smoke has blown out of the valley. We're getting some, our weather's really mixed up. We've had a couple nice overcast days. It's been beautiful. So um, really a good time to be out fishing the river. A great time to be fishing steelhead on the Rogue. And that includes um, the Grants Pass section as well. So the upper river and down through Grants Pass. Typically we sort of um, don't get down into the Grants Pass area until about this time of year because water temps can be pretty high down there. So um, that's all really shifting right now and we're seeing good water temps down there and that can just be very, very good fishing down there in the, uh, in the um, Grants Pass and lower uh, section of the upper river before the canyon, that could be very good too. So if you're kind of looking to uh, open up your range on the, on the upper river a bit, um, I would consider going down there and, and, and poking around down there as well. It can be very good right now. Uh, we're looking at the Klamath River, um, the lower river. I've heard some pretty good reports down there. I've seen some absolutely beautiful fish caught down there already this year. Um, it's a lower Klamath is a very, very cool place to be right now. It's a little tricky, you know, with the warmer water temps and stuff. It should be cooling off with the longer nights now, and those fish should really start migrating up the rivers. I've heard good, uh, I've heard good fishing from the Trinity, which is really great to hear. Um, this year. So we should be seeing some good fish uh, coming up the Klamath as well. I don't think they're expecting a, a kind of a bigger bump like, uh, like the Rogue uh, is, but, um, but I, I think there are good numbers of fish in the Klamath. And we typically start poking around for them around mid-October um, over on the, upper, uh, on the upper Klamath. So we'll be checking in with you around that time. Uh, about what we're seeing there and that that can be a lot of fun fishing over there We really love the quiet and this kind of solitary fishing on the middle and upper Klamath there uh, that time of year and even later into the You know into the early winter and into the early spring too. That can be very good for fishing on the Klamath uh, The North Umpqua has been a real head scratcher this year just never really saw it open up um, I, I know there's a couple very nice fish caught but um, but uh, yeah, just never really saw, you know, good numbers of fish get in there um, and, and, and never really heard any, you know, real positive reports or, you know, extended positive reports. They did, li they have lifted the um, hoot owl closure, I believe. That was just in the last couple days. So you can fish uh, throughout the day now um, with the shorter days and longer nights, cooler nights. The river's cooled off enough for them to do that. So. Um, it's a beautiful time to be up there. It's a great time to be looking for a late fish up there um, and you know, it's always a wonderful place to be but can't give you a really great report uh, you know, from the North Umpqua for, for this year. Uh, the Williamson River over in the Klamath Basin seems like it's getting into its fall shape and fishing really, really well. I've seen some absolutely beautiful fish come out of there recently, some real brutes, some real big fish. So. Um, I think that that fishing is, is ticking off pretty good over there now um, and a good, uh, that, that'd be a good place to be. I know our guide Paul is just schedules very, very full uh, with fishing over there, but, um, but he's been at it and really finding some nice fish over there. So if that's, that's on your list, if you can get over there and do some fishing in the next several weeks, I think it's kind of a peak time um, for fish and some more fish pushing up out of the lake. Um, that kind of migratory rainbow that runs up there out of the lake. That's a very, very nice fish and that is uh, really happening right now over there on the Williamson. So that's what we're seeing here in the Southern Oregon region. Um, really focused on, on steelhead right now uh, on the Rogue River. Um, just a wonderful time of year to be there. Um, really focused on uh, this big event that we put on every year, Rogue on the Fly, uh, down at Indian Mary Park. And so really hoping uh, we see a lot of folks come out for that and really want to extend a hearty invitation to you to come on down and see us. Should be some really good fishing in that Merlin-Galise corridor down there. 
Uh, should be some very good fishing down there during the event in sept uh, September 22 and 23. So we hope to see you there. Otherwise, uh, give us a call if we can update you on a report or a certain river that's fishing. We do expect the Rogue to be a very good bet for this fall. So we'd love to introduce you to the river and, uh, and tell you what we know. So thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.